welcome to the channel. Um, I am so busy. This is insane. So I've just, I've just got to put that out there first. It will settle down and I will get myself in a rhythm and then things might get back to a little bit more normal if that even is going to exist. Anyway, what am I creating today? These are some bits and pieces that were sent to me from Carol, one of my subscribers and a good friend. She sent me a stack of stuff that she wasn't using, wasn't feeling anymore, you know, just that sort of thing. And I decided that as soon as it arrived, I was going to create something with something out of the, the stack of stuff. It was unbelievable the amount of stuff that she sent through thank you so much carol i seriously seriously appreciate it it's awesome now i ended up pulling these two bits of paper out now they are i'm going to assume they're quite old because they're fiskars papers and it's 2007 on the um branding strip so they're pretty old but they're so pretty they were i love yellow so of course that sucked me in and Basically, look, if you don't have a lot of a color or a lot of something, I like to do what I'm doing here when I'm creating a border around my photos. And my photo mat, I just make it out of a few strips and glue it together or stick it down, whichever way you choose to do it. I have to be honest, I have noticed that a couple of my layouts that I just used um, tear tape on, um, you know, your tear can't even remember where I got that one from I think it was the one from spotlight and before I learned to burnish it down and make sure there's definitely no air trapped in it before I learned that I've noticed that some of my layouts have started to let go so I've gone back over them with wet glue and that is why I have switched to using art glitter glue on most everything I use very rarely do I just use tape and even if you see me just using tape I quite often will go back and add some glue after after the fact so um just a just a warning because I'm in Queensland it's quite humid here we have quite a hot state we I think talking to people in the US like we're quite similar um, temperatures in Queensland to Florida so it's kind of that sort of that humidity and so it does affect how your layouts stay together long term so I prefer to use glue I wanted to clear that up because I did have someone ask me a question I think it was earlier last week they were asking you know why why do I sometimes see using tape and sometimes using glue the other thing is too if you use a wet glue on a product, I couldn't find, I looked for my quilling tools for this. I couldn't find them. doesn't matter. Just use the end of a paintbrush and it works fine. I just wanted to curl them up just to add a little bit of extra texture. I have to be honest, I was trying to pull out a few different things that would make this layout sort of stand, stand on its own. Now, you can see that I'm using my design board that was so generously given to me by um, Scrapbook Fantasies. That board is super, super, it is so useful. If you're someone like me that likes to use mixed media or create little clusters and then move things around a little bit and sort of see where it's gonna sit on the actual paper, you put your paper underneath it, it doesn't move. It stays exactly lined up and it's got a grid on the top so you can actually work out if you're someone that likes measuring a lot which I will avoid measuring like the plague but I kind of like to um, line things up on there and then see how it got like it, it is a game changer for me and now I'm probably scrapbooking about as much as what you guys do now so now I'm working full-time so I'm, I'm trying my best to just continue because I, to say that I live for scrapbooking is a major understatement. I, it is my creative outlet. It is my stress relief. It is all that. 
and more. I love it, absolutely love it. So see how now I've been able to create this entire cluster and see how it's all on top. So I can still move it around. And if I decide at this point that I actually wanna add a little bit of mixed media behind what I've created, this isn't attached down and it's very easy for me to just pick up the entire design board and move it out of the way, do some mixed media in the background. That's actually the title I was going to use, but it was too big. It didn't work. So that is my cropper dial and I'm punching in some holes because all these brads, I love these brads. They're, I, I love brads and I always forget to use them, but these were just gorgeous. And I actually had some very similar and I'd already used a heap of them and they were the same color tone. So it just extended. So I'm like, oh yeah, I can finally use those other ones. So I'm just adding just some little bits and pieces. I've pulled out, that's my little tray of fussy cut bits and pieces that I've got sitting there. Some are mint tay, some are, I think I've got some mint tay in there. I've got some stamped images in that little tray. I just went to town and the, so the doilies are uniquely creative. The leaf sprigs are also a die from, it's, it's a leaf, leaf die from uniquely creative as well. And the papers are Fiskars papers. And what else can I tell you? That's pretty much all of the things that I used. And if you saw me do that rub on earlier, that ended up being my title in the end. That's from the 49th and Market Art Options Rouge Sentiment. Rouge Sentiment Rub-Ons. That is such a mouthful to try and get out. And it's first thing in the morning. So I'm doing all this before I go to work. So I am absolutely loving how this is coming together. I didn't, I wasn't sure if I wanted to add more flowers because the background actually has flowers on it. And you can see now I've moved the design board out of the way and now I'm able to add those final little flourish bits and pieces. And I've gone around the edges of them with black soot distress ink. I know that's a weird, that's a weird choice to add to this layout, but it, creates a faux shadow so I'm not trying to create too much depth but it gives me that sort of faux shadow look of the flowers so yeah without me going to town with water inks paints ink blending all of those things so it's yeah come together these were just some fussy cut they these were actually off cuts of I think it was kind of like a wreath in the Minte papers, I bought, I got a book and it's a, oh, I think it was a six by eight paper pad and, you know, being Minte, it's quite thick and I sat and fussy cut a heap of butterflies and flowers and hearts and all that sort of stuff just so I had them to add to layouts as I was going and yeah, I absolutely loved it. Now this particular layout I was doing in between all sorts of other things so I was coming and going so I had forgotten how difficult it is to scrapbook like that now this is my little bow maker I bought this a week or two ago and already I've used it and I absolutely love the bows that it creates and or that I'm able to create by using it and yeah I'm actually able to create nice small bows and I love it absolutely love it until I did that and undone it and I was like oh good on you Karen but I think it will be definitely that bow create that bow tool what's it called bow tool I guess easy bow maker it's called and <clears throat> it is the universal crafts one from crafts online I've seen them everywhere they are um they're only about I think I paid like three dollars for it I didn't know if it was something that I would use but I know that I like bows and I don't I'm not always able to create a good bow sometimes when my fingers are all clunky and whatnot I can't I can't do it it's really frustrating so <clears throat> excuse me by the way I have I have improved I've got better I'm 
at work now. I'm doing really well. For those that were asking, what do I do? What What's the job? What, you know, what's the deal? I am actually working as a domestic assistant. So for the elderly um, that require assistance in their homes. So, it, you know, it could be anything from preparing meals to cleaning to going shopping for them, walking the dog, all those sorts of things. So that's that's what my job is now. So, um, so scrapbooking now has to take a second place in my life. Well, if I'm being realistic, my family comes first, my job comes second, and then scrapbooking comes in then. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I knew that I wouldn't be able to continue scrapbooking full time as I was. I knew that you know, the different seasons of life, I was going to end up having to do something. If I couldn't create a decent income from scrapbooking, I would have to do this. And yeah, so, but I'm super happy with it. Really, really happy. And I'm absolutely loving it. So this layout has come together. It is something very different for me. The problem I was having is this paper, it just looks like normal paper, but not one of my pens would work on it. So a Posca paint pen, I mean, seriously, that a Posca paint pen works on anything. You think I could get it to work on this? Not on your Nelly. I couldn't get my Uniball Signo to work. I couldn't get my Jelly Roll pen to work. So I decided to call in the big guns and I pulled out my, I pulled out my big bullet point Posca paint pen and went to town because I'd already put some there was some lines there so I had to do something so I just went quite chunky with the lines and then that was pretty much my layout done I will be back so this layout goes up on Friday so I will be back on Monday with another layout thank you so much for watching and here's the close-up for you don't forget if you'd like to support the channel there is a buy me a coffee link in the description below there is in the description below everything that I've used whether you can still get it I'm not sure but I absolutely love it and yeah thank you so much for watching I also have my Facebook and Instagram links in the description below as well if you want to go and check out the still photos. Thanks very much for watching guys. I'll chat to you soon. Bye for now.